We are back. It's beautiful outside. Why not let half of that? Beautiful sunshine in through the <laughs> back happened, door. Ken is here to show us how to get that country feel by turning your uh, your outside door, it's an right. exterior door to your house, into a Dutch door. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, you know, a lot of people see this and they go, "Oh, that is." But the Dutch door has some great history to it. Yeah, it's been around forever. Originally, it was used in farmhouses, and it was used literally to keep the animals out, the chickens from coming into the house, and to keep the kids from going out of the house. Interesting. And in England, it's called a, a barn door. In Europe, it's also called a stable door. And it's been around forever and ever. You see, like, Dutch masters paintings and a Vermeer. Oh, right. And it's the woman there, with the head, and she's standing at a Dutch door. So mm. one of the reasons why America, we call it a Dutch and door. In America, we call it Mr. Ed door. Well, yeah. I've been obsessed with it right. since, like, Mr. Ed. Yeah. Like, come on, Wilbur. Yeah. A horse yeah. is a horse, of course, of course. Oh. Um, and there was one, like, bringing a baby with Catherine Hepburn as a kid. With all those black and white movies, like if I only had a Dutch door, all would be good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. But well, now, with with my house and with my kids, now it's actually a big deal. I, so I want to put one in the front door. We open onto the street. I want to open up. I burn bacon or whatever, mm -hmm. but you can't because the kids will run off into the street. Right. I went to buy one. Fourteen hundred dollars special what? order from Home Depot. Really? really? From yeah. Home Depot. Wow. So how long did that little inquiry last? About two <laughs> seconds. Wow. So that instead of cutting good. open my front door, I decided I would test it here first. And I'm glad. Oh, that's good. Never, good idea. never give up on the bacon. You'll get it right. <laughs> right, right Don't right. quit right. on bacon, so no matter what. Think you have another five seconds, and it's burned. Yeah, right. You All got right. busy on this earlier yeah. today. Let's roll that tape. So <laughs> I started with our standard door, and all I did was take it off. It's a three-hinge standard door. Um, unscrew it, and then I brought it out to the back. Um, now, you want to make sure, Mark, you know this, that it's a solid core door that you're using. Yeah, yeah. Um, remove your hardware, and then you want to, it's going to vary on your door, and there's no real way where this needs to go, but you want to divide it in a place that makes sense. I'm going to add a shelf, and that shelf is three quarters of an inch, so I, oh. I made a little three quarter inch, so I'm going to make two cuts. The first cut gives me my top half, and then I'm going to cut away three quarters of an inch to make room for my little shelf. Um, now I measured my door, it's a 32 inch door, so I just found a piece of scrap wood we had lying around, 32 inches, um, and then I'm actually going to cut that, but then I'm going to actually make a little indent there so I have room for clearance. Depending upon how thick your door jam is, you may or may not have to do that. Now all I'm going to do is take that bottom half and just three screws straight onto the top, my little shelf. Now I am going to have to add a fourth hinge. I'll talk about that in a second, but just trace where that is and we'll start off there. Okay, so okay. you add a fourth hinge where? So, so, okay, so if we look over here, the original door had three hinges. One, two, this is our second oh, hinge, and third. So I had to add a fourth hinge here. Mm. Now our hinges are inset a little bit, so what I did have to do was chisel out a little bit to make sure that my new hinge would lie flush with my other hinges. If your other hinges are flat, just yeah. screw it on flat. Just make sure your new fourth hinge hangs the exact same like way as your one. initial hinges. Okay. How much hinges on me helping you right now? A lot. A lot, okay. <laughs> Let me That's jump in. Hinge, right there. <laughs> right, we're right. gonna go ahead and okay. add, I've already added the bottom, obviously. We're gonna add the top. Okay. Um, so let's line this up. Oh. We'll start down And it below. does get a little tricky when right. you're actually, because okay. you do just have to have a second person yeah. make sure you don't have any weird. Now, is that heavy at all? No, I'm good. Is I'm it, you're good? good? Take, take your time. Oh my God, there's a bunny rabbit outside. That's <laughs> so wonderful. Wow, it's really I nice. You guys should see it. It's morning. so wonderful. Yeah. He's getting his workout in. <laughs> I mentioned your jacket. Do you want me to start talking about your jacket? <laughs> <laughs> Leave my jacket out of it. Okay. Uh, let's bring it out. There you go. And so, yeah, you just want to make sure you put in all your, good. all your hinges. And what I always like to do is at least one of them do a super long hinge, and that gives you your stability. There you go. Now we've got our top. I added I a little latch here. here, and there's this little thing, Mark, if you want to keep that. It's called a quadrant hinge. And I love this. You can get them at Home Depot for about 40 bucks. Yeah. Right. And this is going to latch the top. Is that lined up there? Yeah. The top to the bottom. Um, you can just use a... a, a but since this is really costing you nothing, these cost about 40 bucks, and I think, I'll show you how it works, I think it adds just that little sort of Hi, authenticity. I like that. So how this works is you've got your top here, mm -hmm. this opens, nice. and then for the quadrant hinge, this actually goes down and actually lifts the doors ever so slightly and squeezes them together. Oh, oh wow. So okay. that they will function oh, as one door. So I, and it just adds such a nice little, you know, look, and then when you, yeah. when you don't want it, you do like that. 
That's That's lovely. Isn't it's it charming? Nice. All we know is a pie. Will you mind? Oh, oh yeah. Show Ray the pie. Here, I'll get Because the best thing about a double Dutch <laughs> door is that the pie's out of the oven. It needs to cool. Okay. Everyone's coming home for well, dinner. Well, I would, I really? would, usually at this point, I would ask you how much this costs. But given it's a Dutch door, I guess it pays for itself. Or we have to split it. <laughs>